No more waiting. Hey, wait a minute. You've waited long enough. Come on, say it. Let's, let's get this thing out of the open. Say it. It's time for James Barley. He's on your radio. Bye-bye. Yeah. Barley's. I'm listening. Brilliant. Back. Now listen here. It's Sunday the 28th of November. It's Park Radio. And you're listening to James Barley on the air until four o'clock this afternoon. You can mark this day off in your history books, missus, as this is the first day of a brand spanking new radio station for discs and the surrounding areas. I'm so excited a little bit of wee just came out. <laughs> I'm so excited for wee, I just can't hide it. Yes. Anywho, amongst the mayhem today, we have the vinyl disgrace... The cover-up, the featured album of the show, and a magician doing tricks live on air. How bizarre. You can also laugh and point as James tries to get to grips with one of those newfangled computer music control thingies. For more of this tosh, carry on listening to James Barley on Park Radio, 87.7 FM, and on Tatinternet. That is all. That'll be Culture Beat then, and Mr. Vane here on Park Radio 87.7. Now it's time for our very special guest. <laughs> Mark Jeffries is here, local magician. Hello, Mark. Good afternoon, James. You like your intro there. <laughs> <laughs> I think Paul Daniels will be very proud of me about that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. You're my first guest of the whole broadcast. How does that feel? Well, I'm... I'm Privileged and honoured, I think, then, yeah. <laughs> so you should be. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I've got to tell you a story about Mark. I used to go to school with you in... Well, uh, we left in 1988, about 20 years ago. Yeah, yes. I, I, James, I just need to make you aware. I tell everyone I'm 28, so... Oh, uh, right. that, yeah, oh so sorry. About 1998. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're many classes below me, <laughs> yeah, exactly. of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, of course, we lost touch for 20-odd years. And by the miracle of Facebook, like everybody else... We found each other again, and thankfully, well, we found all the schoolmates now. And uh, so, and here you are, you're standing in front of us, isn't that bizarre? 22 years just flies by, doesn't it? I was six last time we met. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you find it odd, though, Facebook, when we were at school, there was no such thing as internet. There was a BBC computer, which was a load of old rubbish. Yeah. And uh, that's all we had, wasn't it? And now, there we are. Well, this makes us sound old, doesn't it, really? It's, it shouldn't go on about things like that. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. No. <laughs> but when I went to school, you were into magic then, and uh, actually, I was a little bit as well. I mean, we used to sort of swap magic tricks, and... Yeah. Uh, Incredibly, I mean, I, I, well, forgot all about it, unfortunately, but uh, you carried on, and uh, you're actually doing it professionally on the side. It's quite incredible. I've, I've been doing it now for cool, a, n a number of years. I think when, uh, when we first left school, uh, the, I joined Rumbelows for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rumbelows in Thetford. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh. I think they're now defunct, but... Um, <laughs> uh, I've, and actually, they, they went out of business, I'm sure, just after I left, so there might be a, a moral in there somewhere. But yeah, I have a habit uh, of doing that yeah. to companies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just carried it on from there. We, I took a, a bit of a break when my daughter was born, and uh, but when she was about two, I remember sitting on a, a front room couch, uh, or, or, or on the floor with her, really, and she, she was playing up, to say the least, and the only thing I could think of that might, might calm her down a little is to take four cards and put four cards in a square, put four pennies under the card and make the, the penny jump from card to card. So two hours later, I was still doing that trick with her giggling and it kind of brought it back to me then, uh, how magical magic can be, really. And you just carried on? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite unbelievable that you're still doing it. I, m I remember we... Uh did I say we were standing in your your garage and uh, your dad had made some kind of cabinet up and uh, I don't know you we managed to escape from it I kind of know how but I can't say how <laughs> it's very clever it's incredible that you're doing that still now and you're going to do some tricks on the air today aren't you yeah 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to the the visual side of uh, <laughs> of radio, of radio. <laughs> this is a first everybody <laughs> so um, how, what got you first into magic i think it with me it was paul daniels um paul was definitely one, one of the biggest focuses i think because he was on the tv all the time back then uh, and in fact actually in in recent times he's been on the tv a lot again but for mm. for his strictly routines i think who would have thought yeah <laughs> And we're still wondering why now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, 
yeah, Paul Daniels and also my dad went away for a few weeks. He he was working away from home. He came back and uh, bought me back this present. Uh, it was a guillotine, so a, a stainless steel blade that went through someone's arm. What? Uh, hopefully unharming their arm, but uh, chopping a carrot or something at the bottom. And I, I took that to school and just did it a couple of times in front of uh, kids in class and watched them run away screaming and just thought, this is the life for me, really. I've seen uh, one of your tricks. I've been looking at your photos. There's a box that sits on someone's head. Ah, the, What's all that about? Yeah, that, that's called the dagger chest. <laughs> as it says, daggers in <laughs> yeah, the yeah, box. Yeah, it is. Just, just as the name implies. So uh, you, you put, around, I think it's 14 daggers through someone's head and uh, make their head disappear, really. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Yeah. We do, we're not doing that one today. Not today. Not today. You need your voice, I think. You. Thank you all for that. <laughs> now, you, you've also been entertaining troops in Germany, haven't you? How's uh, that come about? Well, uh, you were talking about Facebook earlier, mm. and, and this was actually from uh, another friend of ours from back in the, the school days. Uh, Lara Harris, I think she was then, Lara Beardshaw now. Ah. I put my website up, and uh, the next day she sent me a message just saying, look, we're looking for somebody would it be you know would it be something you're interested in and it just snowballed from there and uh, I've been out there now twice this year uh, entertaining the troops and first one was for a charity do so that was for cancer and they were doing their walk of life and right. I, I went out there and entertained the the kids and the adults alike the second one was for their summer ball and then I go back out on the 10th of December I fly back out there to uh, to take care of their their Christmas ball as well Oh, wow. Incredible. And you've also done other charity work. You've done a little thing for children in need in the past few weeks, haven't you? Yeah. that I, I love the way these uh, these things happen, really. I, I, I've pl toyed with the idea for ages of uh, doing village halls and, and putting on a show on a village hall and kind of moving from village hall to village hall. Because, yeah. as you know, from Dis and, and Norfolk in general, we've just got some, some fantastic halls there that kind of lay bare. Yes, there are, most of the time, yeah. So yeah. so the idea was to get a real cheap chi ticket price and uh, put on a, a, a bit of a variety show and do some magic, etc. And uh, we thought, if we're going to do that, we need to put one on first to, to test the ground. So we did one for Halloween, and that was free of charge for friends and family for me to try out some new routines, etc. Yeah. Um, we did a raffle then. The money went to children in need. And my daughter just said the next day, oh, I just, I, I really enjoyed that. I love doing that. Can we do another one? Should we do one for children in need? And that snowballed from there then. So, and away uh, you went. Yeah. Can I ask how much you made on the children? Yeah, £170.56p and wow. overall. So uh, it was quite, quite good for an hour's work. Not bad. Yeah, an yeah. hour. Yeah. Oh, well done. Congratulations <laughs> yeah, on that. All good. Carry on doing some more. Uh, yeah, definitely. We've, uh, we're, we're planning for Help the Heroes now. So uh, we're hoping to do one somewhere in the new year. Right. Oh, good. We'll look forward to seeing more on that. Um, just to let everybody know that you've got a website so they can find out more on what you're up to and whereabouts you're going. Uh, let me get this right. www.mjmagic.co.uk Yeah, M-J-A-Y. Yeah, so it's M-J-A-Y, magic.co.uk. Have a look on there if you want to find out more about what Mark's up to and the various uh, uh, shenanigans he's getting on. Now, I was just uh, looking over at the email, and the Beardshaws, they're from Germany. They've said a big hello to you, Mark. So, oh, fantastic. So that's, not... that's Laura and crew, then. Yep. Oh, hello, Laura and crew. Thanks for listening in Germany. You've got to be the furthest away of people we've got listening at the moment, so thank you very much. On the internet, of course, on www.parkradio.co.uk. All right, Mark, thanks for coming in. We'll talk to you more in a minute, and I believe we need some helpers in here because we're going to shackle you up. There's two strapping lads just behind me actually that look perfect for the task yeah ah shackling live on radio okay uh well <laughs> carry on listening and we'll try a bit more of that in a minute That'll be cast then and fine time here on Park Radio 87.7. Hello to Julia who's texted in saying uh, she's enjoying the show and say hello to MJ and his magic tricks. Hello MJ. Now uh, they're all here. MJ's got some uh, helpers in. His version of Debbie McGee. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Chris like, is here. Do you like, do you like the skirts? Mark. It looks very nice. Um, I don't know how you got all those sequins on in about 20 minutes uh, uh, notice. They're all um, hand-sewn. It's not <laughs> a problem. I think he had them somewhere in the back. <laughs> I reckon yeah, he did. Yeah, he had it ready. <laughs> right, so what are we doing then, Mark? What's going to happen? Here? Okay, well, I, I, I thought I'd bring along uh, a, a, 
kind of historical trick, I guess. So uh, there was an amazing magician called Houdini who was at the, the turn of uh, the century, 1900s, and he used to do a, a water torture effect. Now, when I suggested to James that I bring in a water torture effect where I get shackled in a, a box with full of water and I try and get out, he just looked at his electrics around him and said, <laughs> actually, I, I, that's probably not a great idea. So, we, so we've got rid of the water tank, which, which for me is, is good news because it means I didn't have to wear the wetsuit. And um, the other thing we wanted to get rid of was the, the fact that there's a big curtain that goes up because that won't really work on radio either. So, uh, so we got rid of the, the curtain and we got two strapping guys, one to my left and one to my right, <laughs> now puffing out their chests and showing us their biceps. Strapping. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, what I'm going to ask them to do is just shackle me. Uh, have, a, have a look at the padlocks. Just make sure that they're real and okay and the key turns, etc. Have a look at the... Uh, the metal, yeah, you're doing that for me now, that's good. And uh, just make sure that there's no other way of escape from, apart from undoing that padlock. They are real padlocks. They are real, yeah. And this is a very big metal shackle we have here. Excellent. So uh, if you can just take the padlock off yeah, there for the for uh, For the local listener, if you go to Candles the Butchers, you'll probably see this contraption hanging in the window. <sighs> <laughs> Trust me, I'm a doctor. With half a pig on it. <laughs> With half a pig. What goes on in your personal life, Chris? We all want to know. So all I want you to do is just... <laughs> Tune in tomorrow from five. That's it. Take that It'll hand. be fine. Well, Neil is just uh, affixing... Uh, Perhaps we should explain. Mark. Yeah. Mm. We need a webcam, really. But Mark is being shackled up as we speak. And Neil, Neil's done this before, I think, because that's really quite tight. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to get out of this, is he? Yeah. Well, okay, so on the, on yeah, the other Neil, side... Neil is an actual expert <laughs> on, uh, on torture. If you can do the same. On many levels. <laughs> so Chris is now... <laughs> I'm so glad I bought this trick now. <laughs> Chris is now shackling the other hand uh, behind Mark's back now. Okay. So he's got his hands behind his back through a metal loop. And he's shackled to that. <laughs> See, I told you it'd work on radio. It's yep. really fine. So Houdini would take take this the shackle and mm. uh, put himself and a shackle inside a, a, a water container. Yeah, you can take the key. That might make it harder for me. <laughs> and uh, he's very bright. <laughs> Our magician friend. And 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 it would be about three minutes before he was able to get out. Now, the curtain would go up and everybody would panic in the audience. But what I want to do is use a, a, a sort of cheaper curtain today, I think, and I'll use you two guys if that's Ooh. okay. It's okay. a first. It's a radio first. <laughs> yeah. Taking my top off. The, li the listeners of Dis have never seen Going anything quite like here. this. <laughs> my top is off. Beautiful. That, that's excellent. Thank what, you, Neil. Uh, can I just ask you just to? You yeah, down. just a yes. bit, a little bit higher would be great. That's okay. fantastic. Magic on the radio. So here's the plan. Then we we need a bit of a countdown. I, I guess um, you've still got the key, haven't you? I have the key. Excellent. And you've still got your key. I've still got my key. Oh, okay. Now, so what I want to do then is if you can just um, yeah raise that slightly for me. I'll, I'll try not to touch the keys as okay. we go, but I will try and get out. In fact, actually, I didn't introduce myself, did I? Sorry, Mark. Mark Jeffries. He's and, uh, Lister, yeah, he's done you, it. You, That's yeah. incredible. And, uh, can I just ask you one question? He's when, out. When, when you did this... Oh, sorry, I, I, I won't even worry, actually. I'll, I'll just give you the shackle and you can applaud. Yeah. Well, well, well done, Mark. We're very, impre incredible. We're very, very impressed. <laughs> That's, That's unbelievable. Thank incredible. you very much. I didn't even see it. Come out. Yeah, Slight of were. hand. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you to the assistants. Are we go we're going to have some magic, uh, some card tricks as well? Yeah, later. I've brought along some cards and a few other bits. All right, yeah. maybe into the second hour of the show yeah. we'll have some card tricks then. Thank you, Debbie McGee. That's very good of you. <laughs> <laughs> go, go and get rid of those sequins. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. We'll have some more from you in a minute. Uh, this is just inevitable what song we're going to play next. It's a kind of magic. 